Alright, welcome Zing. Right here, if you press the like button, the fish quest, or er, it fixes the fish quest in expeditions. Nice. Alright, so I think there was quite a few of these we had to do. Like this one, rangefinder, where is this? Am I blind? How is there not a spot to pick it up? Hey snake, how are you doing? Okay, here we go. Portable rig. And fuel. Hey JJ, how do you be doing? I be doing good. Let's see, what do I have in my truck? Nothing in this one. Okay, let's... Park this one. Trying to change trucks. Ugh, this thing can be kind of annoying. Let's try. Does the Acteon have? Yes, we do have portable rigs here. Hey, Brian. Lessons, welcome. Also, Pearl. Hope you're having a good day so far. How are we? We're doing pretty good. How are you? I'm sure a few of you guys have had a chance to try out the Atom for a little bit. So we're at 70% here on Expeditions. All good. Glad to hear it. I think now we we kind of got to clean up some of the stuff we didn't we didn't have the right. I keep forgetting the name of the people, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know what you want to call them. The right scientists, helpers, whatever. Oh, jeez, I think you shot me back up pretty good. It's a little tippy, but you like the atom. The low fuel consumption is nice. Yeah, the low fuel consumption is really nice. But it's funny because I was watching Nathan's, uh, Nathan Province's stream. Usually he's a day behind, but I think he uploaded it uh, yesterday to, you know, because it was brand new yesterday. Uh, I saw you were watching it live, Zing. Um, but yeah, for like the, <coughs> excuse me. I only got through like the first hour, hour and a half, so I didn't watch the entire thing, but uh, he, uh, he played part of it with the stock tires. Oh, I cannot get up this hill. And then he switched to the, the Jat tires, and I was thinking about it yesterday when I was playing with it. I flipped over like probably five or six times yesterday, and every single time except for once was when I was using the stock tires. The one time that I wasn't using the stock tires that I did crash was when I was I was going up the hill and I was I kind of gave up with uh, that run and I let the truck go backwards and then it flips. But every other time I was using the stock tires, so yeah, it kind of hit me when I was watching Nathan's stream. So got a ways to go over here. That it was is it, it was always the stock tires that had me flipping. The jet tires were fine on that truck, so I'm. Still, it probably is, you know, a little bit on the tippier side, but um, I also saw Nathan posted a, a review. I, I saw it like three minutes before I started this live, and I was like, ah, oh, dang. So I haven't had a chance to watch that. If you guys haven't seen that, you should go check it out. Nathan's reviews are always great. All right, let's deflate the tires here a bit. ATS is crashing on you again. Oh, no. I wonder what's causing that tank, baby. I identify as a stock Fleet Star, underpowered and wobbly, but it gets the job done. Hello Robert, welcome to the stream, how are you doing today Robert? I am doing well, thank you, thanks for asking. 
Uh, how come your video doesn't have like an episode or anything? I hope you don't take this as hate. Just wondering. Um, yeah, it's a good point. I don't know, i kind of just been... I, I was... I guess I didn't really think about it until you said that, but like my normal mode playthrough, I don't... I kind of just wing it and do whatever, so I don't really put an episode number. So I've, I've done that with SnowRunner on normal mode as well. But it might be a good idea to start, just so that people can follow it if they wanted to follow in order. But uh, yeah, I haven't done it with normal mode on uh, SnowRunner or here in Expeditions. I've only done it with hard mode, so... It's a good good, uh, good question there, Pearl. But no, I definitely didn't take it as hate. I know you're just generally curious. Oh boy. Almost rolled it. You doing okay? Glad to hear that, Robert. Hey, Tink Baby, how are you doing today from Bryce? Yep, as usual, Nate's reviews are quite accurate. Have you watched it, Zing? Nasty Nate from Cell Block 4. <laughs> is, that, is that his nickname now, Nasty Nate? Um, ooh, we got the uh, reusable one here. Let's exchange that for our one here. Uh, let's exchange this for this. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, we needed to get to that point right there. Oh, it's all to do with your mods. Okay. Um, I don't know how that works exactly. Is it possible, like, you don't have enough RAM to run all that? Like, maybe it's... You know what I mean? I don't know. Like I said, I don't remember. I know you talked about it before a couple weeks ago. You fixed the crashing, just took off a few mods, I'm guessing. Oh, wait, Nathan. <laughs> two for two tank, baby. Nice. Well, that's always nice when you can get it fixed pretty quick. Okay, let's deliver canisters. Okay, and then I gotta recover and go here, so... Well, actually, we might... Let's see, do we have a portable rig in the other trucks? Lodestar for sure doesn't. Does this? Yes, it does. Okay. Zing, I cannot play without mods. They're so good. See, tank baby, play without mods. Problem solved. So the first time it kept crashing was because the mod was limited out of memory. Oh, okay. So I think this is what I was asking, sort of. Um, uh, where'd it go? Oh, because of the game config, and I'm pretty sure this is because of... I'm missing a key for the truck. Huh? How do you miss a key for the truck? Okay, that makes sense. Some of your other ones have, like, finishing the rocket and stuff like that. Yeah, this one, I, I didn't... I didn't really know what to put for a title. I was just like, yeah, we're just gonna jump in and drive around and try and finish off some stuff, so... I, sometimes I think it's good to just leave it blank. Just kind of throw a screenshot up and... I mean, if you look at the title, too, it's kind of just plain, like, just... You know, playing some expeditions, basically, is all there... All that really was in there. Hey, Marty. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Marty? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, with the memory issue, it wasn't the lack of RAM. It was because the game was limiting. Okay. That's a good question. Zing, do you play ATS? Have you ever played ATS? The key, virtual key, unlocks the mod. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That does make sense. Keeps people from pirating it. Yeah, we're, uh, 70% with this one. No, I said that already, but... I think we have a little bit of work to do here, a little bit in Sliprock Swamp, and I think we're 
pretty... Or maybe we have a little bit to do in Mountain Labyrinth, I think. Between the three of them, I think we have a little bit in each one. Now I'm trying to think of the last one, but yeah, I think we're pretty close to done. Actually, let's check here. Profile. Um, yeah, so we got the one expedition that doesn't want to complete. We got 13 contracts and two tasks total. So 15 and then a couple random upgrades. I'm kind of hoping just to find all of the, the contracts and tasks and get all of those done. And then I'll be able to see how many upgrades we have left. We'll be like, oh, okay, for sure we're missing two upgrades. You know, and then I'll try and go find it. I don't exactly like how on this game you could you could uncover the upgrade by like driving right past it, but you have to drive like literally right next to it for it to show up on your map. So you can explore the area like, you know, maybe there is an upgrade like out here or something, which it's it's you know, clear. It's not like this gray or black area. But how am I to know that there was an upgrade out there? The only way, like, if you use the radar, then it shows it up for sure. But if you were to just drive past, uh, it's not going to pop up, which means basically I have no idea where those upgrades could be. If I've missed them, I think I've got most of them. But I am probably missing an upgrade or two, so I'm trying to finish up the last few tasks and contracts and that way I know exactly how many I'm missing and I can kind of narrow it down from there because I know that I won't be getting any more from the tasks or contracts or expeditions. Yes, we're being OSHA compliant today. I mean, look at look at our truck. Almost no damage. My feet are happy. Got new slippers from Amazon today. Nice. Because I wore a hole in the old ones. Do you guys want to know something weird that I do? So, for some reason, and I don't, I don't know why, I don't know when this really started, but I always curl my toes inside my shoes. And I, I literally will, like, bust a hole through the bottom of my shoe from curling my toes. And, like, if I, if I walk around for a long time without curling my toes in my shoes, my feet just feel, like, really weird. I don't know how to explain it, but... Like, I just feel like I have to curl my toes. So yeah, it's kind of a weird thing that I do. You're fine. I hope I am too. Thank you, Marty. Uh, I just got a 1700 mile haul to do. Jeez. You're good. You do it in small spurts. Okay, now we gotta try and find out. So like, I must have to put on different people for that one. Same with that one. And that one, because I can't track any of these. Here we go. Oh, pick up the equipment. The equipment's at this base. That's why I couldn't see it before. Okay, let's do that. Oops, I think I just turned my vehicle on. There we go. Oops, no, I want the Lodestar. Or not the Lodestar, the Warthog. Um, right next to us here. JJ's a special breed. Yeah, I, like, I, I'll, I'll bust holes in the bottom of my shoes from curling my toes. Like, every every one of my insoles is always, like... Crap, did I put too much stuff in here? Hang on a second. I think I gotta take some stuff out. From those talons you're hiding in your shoes? Yeah. That's it. Let's, uh, get rid of... These two. Why can I not pick up the rangefinder? Does it go in the truck bed? No, the rangefinder is... Pick up the equipment. It's showing right here. Yeah, I don't need the cargo drone. It's not the workshop. I could add range finders from here. But it looks like it needs to be a specific one. It's like lighting up right there. Your task is to create detailed and accurate topographical map of the nature reserve using a specialized surveying equipment. Pick up the equipment. So I picked it up, but now where do I drop it off? 
I know I didn't pick it up at the right spot because it's not letting me. Alright, anyways. Uh, it's bugged to fix everybody's needs. Oh, it's bugged. Everyone needs to push the like button to get it unbugged. Hello from Poland. Hello, Bruno. Um... Alright, I guess we'll just try and find something else we can do. How about this one? Oh, that's Mountain Labrys. Okay, I think we have all of these. So, Mountain Labrys, Mountain Labrys. This is the only one that's here, but it doesn't let us do it for some reason. It doesn't let us pick it up. Whatever. All right, back to the headquarters. We'll try and find Mountain Labrys. The like button is the way. Okay, Mountain Labrys. I know we have some stuff to do here. This is one thing I wish the game had, with like a preset um, for like, if you want to use certain trucks and certain equipment, you could like set up a thing instead of having to do this each time. That was not what I wanted. Yes, they're on the yard, maybe. Okay, so we're using a mechanic. Because we, we're we trying to use the ones we don't normally use. And then a operator... Oh, no, not operator. Logistician. And manager. And I don't really care who's, who's what. Like, I don't really care about their perks. Just using them to be able to start the mission, so... Um... So I'm going to kind of just randomly equip these things, guys. And hopefully we equip them correctly. So we'll do like one of these and these. Then we'll do like four of these. A couple of these. So that one truck, you know, each each of the trucks has something they can have, sort of. Mm. And then something like that. I don't know. Hopefully that works. All right. Oh shoot, I should have moved the trucks around. Yes, save a config. Yeah, that would be nice. If you could if you could put it to like, hey, I want to I want to equip uh one jack screw in all of my trucks. I want one anchor point in all of my trucks, and then I want to have these four trucks as like a, a preset that I want to keep using these. You know, something like that. All right, let's see. Okay, first first step here. I guess we got to go here. Actually, that's the first one. We'll, we'll try and find something closer. Where is... explore the map? Oh, how is that? That's weird, it was the same one. Okay. So none of these are ones we can track. I don't understand how that works. This is the same one. It says pick up the rangefinder in Dormant Volcano. That's what we were trying to do. So edge runner, edge runner is the only one we can do. All right, let's skip to this base. Or is it east? No, western. Hello, Dutch gamer. How's it going today? We are basically just trying to clean up whatever we got left, and the game is kind of weird with... You have to have certain people equipped to do certain tasks and contracts, and I, you, it doesn't tell you which ones you need. So normally I ran with the same kind of three. I would run with the drone, well I, I call her the drone girl. Uh, the water guy, which again, not the right name, but the girl who allows you to fly much further distances with your drone, the guy who allows you to not take damage in the water. And then I would use one of the Jaegers, who basically doubled your equipment for, um... What am I trying to say? Doubled your equipment for jack screws. So, that made, uh... Oh wow, no damage on that? That first one took no damage. 
Uh, so that made driving around a little bit easier, you know, if you flipped over or whatever, but... Oh boy. But yeah, now we're trying to use some other ones, so I might have to go back to that same group. And Because it seems like... I thought there was a bunch of them to do here. It looks like there's only like one or two. I just remembered the other day somebody asked me how long the day or night cycles are in here, and I've never gone through a night because I always skip the time for you guys just to make it brighter, like for, you know, viewing purposes. Let's clear this. JJ ain't no got, or got, oh, I can't talk. JJ ain't got no time to navigate around, just eat her off the cliff. Yeah, we're just trying to get this thing complete. Don't care how we have to do it at this point. What do we got for money? Where does it say? I can't remember where. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Oh, there you go. 1.466 million. So, we're good. And like I said, it's only the one thing we, we, we found to do on this map, so... We'll try and complete the one thing. And move on with the rest of the stuff. I think we're probably better off going to Arizona to complete more stuff because we're a little bit less uh, complete there as far as total, you know, stuff to do. Whereas this one, I think we need more of the specific people to do it. Oh boy. Well, that was a rip. That's a pretty tough place to get to, huh? Alright, let's go back to here. Skip time back to uh, morning here. Hey guys. Uh, it's going alright. We completed one thing. Yeah. I should have tried to throw out a uh, an anchor point quick. I saw myself slipping, but... This is where I think my, uh, I, I mostly have mud tires on my vehicles, which I think for this game, rock is more important. Maybe here in, uh, the Carpathians, the mud, you know, it's, it, it's more of a 50-50 or maybe even more mud, but, uh, in Arizona, it's a lot more rock. So I would say for sure Arizona. Where am I, am I... Yeah, it might be a tough climb down there, but... Alright. Gotta do what we gotta do. Hello, Mr. Spoon, indeed. This time we're not going to try and eat ourselves off, we're going to try and, well, actually we might eat off the first one and then lower off the second. Because this first one doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, we got a tree here. Honestly, if we tip over, it'd probably be a better thing at this point, because it'd give us an easier time to re, uh, redeploy, kind of. Alright, our suspension's totally shot. We made it. 
Oh, it's a good thing. I thought I had jack screws in here. I didn't equip them with this one. So... Oh, I need a range find... I didn't even look at the... God dang it. Got all the way here and didn't have a range finder. That's not it. That's not it. I think this one's got the range finders. Hello, Artem. How's it going today? I just gotta check here. Is it range finders that I have? Okay, good. Psy expeditions. Yeah, so yesterday I finally deleted one of my, my SnowRunner saves. You guys probably saw that on stream if you were watching. So now I do have an open uh, open slot for SnowRunner. I think I'm going to start a new, new hard mode playthrough, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do exactly. It's either going to be all scouts, all highways, or all small trucks, or maybe a combination of the, of the three. But basically there's going to be uh, no heavy duties. Well, I might make an exception for the uh, Kodiak, it's kind of a small heavy duty. Uh, no off-roads, again, well, I actually shouldn't say no off-roads, because some, some of the trucks are off-road that are small. But uh, might also include the uh, 65368, which can have single slot uh, stuff. Not exactly sure which what I'll do yet, but definitely be starting something else at some point. If I feel like doing math, I can get satisfactory. It's on sale right now. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if that if that game seems like something that I would really play too much. From watching you play it, I was looking at it like, I don't know if... I'm not quite flipped over all the way. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if that's something that I would play. I'm sure if I played it, I would probably get into it, but... I don't know if I would... Yeah. Probably wouldn't go out of my way to get it, I don't think. That's just my, uh... Initial thought of it. Alright, come on, where can we... Actually, we should probably deploy... I should have thought about this more, huh? Don't get it, JJ. It's not worth it unless you like doing math. Oops, not that. Hey, Kevin. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? Oh, I think our our back is stuck in the tree here. You gotta be kidding me. And now we're back upright, so we can't use the jack screw. We're just getting the worst of this, aren't we? Oops, um... Put it in low with the diff lock on, maybe. Deflated the tires, try and get as much grip as we can. Let's try it with a pull from further back, possibly. See if that helps. Hey, there we go. Actually, no, we'll leave the, we'll leave the tires deflated here. could be helpful. You get a little bit extra grip when you're when you're uh, going down hills and stuff. It kind of makes your vehicles just a little bit more stable. All right, let's throw this on. Where was it? Somewhere right there. Oh, that was perfect. Oh no, the tree's not long enough. 
Ouch. Uh, I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm getting to your other comments here just a bit late. He said, can you pull your rear to the right and get it unhooked? Oh, I almost rolled it. Actually, no, we'll leave that down. Okay, here we go. I don't know if that's stage complete or mission complete. Let's see. Stage, looks like. Install a second range finder. So this is why we uh, equipped a couple of them. Your fuel consumption is wild. Is it? I haven't been paying attention. Probably would have worked out a lot better if I had planned this out, right? Kind of came into here without much of a plan. Oh, this doesn't look very good either. Actually, that wasn't too bad. I don't know how the heck we're getting up here, though. They expect you to climb up this cliff face somehow? Not even that one, another one. It's like a couple of them. This might be one of the harder missions I've had. Was this the best route available? No, definitely not. There was there was a route along here, but I, I think I rolled my truck somewhere in here and then I had to kind of climb down. I climbed down a bad, bad place just because I was trying to make it faster. But like you got these big rock piles here, I don't know. How we're going to be able to get... I mean, might be better off going all the way up to here and around. How many... Well, I got ten anchors. Okay, never mind. Apparently I got the, uh... One of the people I have equipped gives you double anchors. So instead of five, we have ten. So we might be able to make this work, actually. If it allows me to put it up here... Oh, no, come on. I mean, maybe we can put it here. And then, if we're lucky, we might, might be able to get... Um, get part of the way up here. And then... Oops. And then winch our way up to the top after that. If we can find out where this point is at. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that didn't really work. We, we rolled back down as soon as we were done pulling ourselves up. That's what's kind of annoying. It shows all this green area where we can put it, but we can't put it anywhere up there. I don't know why it shows that if it's not going to allow us to do it. It's 
So let's see if we can maybe do that again, but possibly keep ourselves from falling down. Maybe leave this attached, see if we can somehow get closer, close enough to be able to put an anchor point up here. Okay. Um, not really, but there was one right here. Oh, man. This is very annoying. Actually, let's see if we can get a third one up here now. Oh, oh wait. Why does it let us go way over there? That's weird. I don't know if that's a really good spot for it, but I will try. There we go. It's like a mess trying to get up this thing. Hey, Chan, long time no see. How have you been, Chan? Uh, David, welcome to the stream. Good morning, JJ. Did you have any problems with expeditions at this stage? I have one issue with one contract that I can't seem to complete. Um, at this stage, I have played it five times because it crashed all the time. And well, mine hasn't crashed at all. Um, so I stopped playing it at the moment until they fix it. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, hello, Chan. 200 uh, South African Rand. And actually, uh, well, thanks for the donation, Chan. That is much appreciated. I just thought of this the other day. I was looking at, because uh, I got a donation from South Fang like last week. I don't know if South Fang is here today. But uh, it got me thinking about like, because I, I think a lot of other currencies look really cool uh, compared to the US. Just looks kind of plain anyways. Oh no. We are rolling. Uh, and I, I read that uh, South African Rand is actually one of the more interesting looking currencies. I saw some pictures of it. It looks pretty cool. I'm never going to get up here, am I? Finished all your work? Good job. Way to go, Artem. Fuel's running low. What are we at? Oh, yeah. We are getting pretty low. Thank you, Kevin. We're probably taking the hardest, worst way up here. I guess we're making it entertaining anyways, or hopefully. We've only got three jack screws left. Or, uh, not jack screws, anchors. South Africa has some of the highest rated flags as well. Okay. Yeah, I just think... I was thinking the other day, because, you know, he donated, uh... What is it called? Norwegian Kroner. He's from Norway. And obviously, with the different abbreviations, I'm not familiar with some of them. And, uh... Yeah, it just got me thinking. I was like, it'd be cool to have a bunch of different kind of currencies. And South African Rand was on the, on the list. I think it was, like, number four or something of, like, the best, coolest looking currencies. Okay, finally got that done. It's not allowing us to track any of this stuff. Here we go, we got this one, but that's Dormant Volcano. And that's literally it. What do you think of it, Artem? You got the, uh, as of Adam yesterday. So what is, what is this? This is a bridge, this is a bridge. That's an airdrop. Like, I see it as an animal trap, or whatever you want to call them, a uh, camera trap there, but... I don't really see anything else. What is this? 
See, I can't do this one. I think we'll go back. And we'll try our same... Or uh, the group I usually use and go back to the same place. Alright, so let's do... Uh, that was... Unshakable Island? No, that was Mountain Labyrinth, wasn't it? Yeah, that was this one. So we'll do the people we usually use, which is the Hydrologist, a Jaeger, and an Operator. Again, we'll try and pick the same same group of vehicles that we've been using. I like using the smaller trucks that have beds now. That's kind of one thing that I learned is because once you, after a little bit of playing, all the smaller trucks have autonomous winch, but they can also have small beds, the flat beds. Let's use the scout, we haven't used that in a bit. I'll just equip something random in there. Okay, so that's got, oh wait. Again, we're gonna just do something random in these, just to, hopefully one of them is needed. They're free, so. Oh crap, I didn't want this. What are your thoughts on the game so far? I don't know, I had fun with it at the start, but now I'm, I'm getting kind of frustrated with uh, how, like, you have to have certain people to do certain missions, and it doesn't tell you which ones you need, and so that's that's kind of really annoying right now. That's where I'm at. Um, so let's try this again. But that's that's basically exactly what I'm trying to do right now. I have like 14 missions I think left to do here. Let's see if any of them can track. Okay, so now we can track this one. That's Unshakable Island. We can track this one, Unshakable Island. Oh, it looks like all of them are on Unshakable Island. Dormant Volcano. So, okay, we have we have the people we need now. Because now we can track them all. Dormant Volcano. Here we go. Set up some camera traps in this one. Uh, install first, second, and third trap. Is that like this? You just bought another truck. Nice. I like the fuel efficiency and something new and fun to drive. Uh, Chen, have you got the uh, Azov Atom yet? Have you tried it yet? I think the vehicle physics are better than SnowRunner because the trucks actually feel like trucks. 100%, yeah. That was one of the first things that I noticed, and I know pretty much everybody that I've watched play the game has said the same thing. The trucks seem to drive better. They seem heavier. Like, more grounded, less bouncy, floaty, you know, whatever you want to say. Okay, where? Like... Oh, here we go. Found three places we gotta go to. Alright, let's jump over here. Western Outpost. Wait, do I have camera traps in this truck? I don't know if I have camera traps at all. Let's see. I'm going to bring this one over there too. Okay, so these are... Oh, these are camera traps. Alright. I believe we got the right one now. The Atom is very nice. Uh, I got a 9.2 out of 10 from your test. That's very good. I do have a question though. Did you test it with, uh, with the stock tires? Oh, there's South Fang. We were just talking about you, South Fang. Because I, I, wa I, so I played with it for a couple hours yesterday, and then I watched Nathan play with it on his stream. I only got like an hour, hour and a half into it, but. Um, he, he he used the stock tires and then he switched to the Jats. And I realized, because I had two different trucks when I played with it, 
One of them had stock, one of them had jets. And I flipped over the one with the stock tires like five times. And I only flipped over the other one once, but it was because I was going down the steep ski hill in season 10. Like it was totally my fault. It wasn't the truck's fault. So I was kind of thinking, because that's when it hit me when I was watching Nathan's video. Like, yeah, the, the tires made a huge difference on that truck. Because I flipped the other one over like five times, but the one with the jats, I didn't flip at all. So... Uh, yeah, we were talking about, because uh, if you see above, Chan gave us a donation. I don't remember what the uh, conversion rate is, or I don't remember the colors. I think it might be 20 US dollars? I, I don't really, I don't know. Um, but we were talking about, because you gave me the uh, Norwegian Kroner, and I was saying to Chan how I looked up, because I, I said to you on stream that it would be cool to have like a bunch of different, you know, currencies or something like that, because... A lot of the other currencies around the world have, like, colorful currency. And, uh, I looked it up after the stream in South African Rand, which is what, what, uh, Chan uses, is, uh, one of the most, like, unique or cool-looking currencies on the, on the list of, like, I don't know, I guess most popular, coolest ones to kind of collect or whatever, so. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All right. Down to the first place here. Deliver a camera trap. Let's pull forward. There we go. Some contracts need a seismic vibrator to do it. Oh, Livonia. Maybe with the big brain. I think you did tell me that actually like weeks ago. And I forgot. Okay, we gotta get up there and then up there. Yeah, I guess we'll have to follow this down here. Oh, you were in Cape Town last year. Nice. What the heck? Did that fish just damage my truck or did I hit something? I don't think that was the fish, right? Couldn't be. You were watching a video so you're a bit late? No worries. I know you guys all got other stuff to do. Appreciate you stopping in, though. All right, I think we got to go to the right. I don't think it's directly up the hill. I think it's over there more, more to the left. We need to cross the river to the right. He posted a photo of your bills. Oh, in the, uh, in the Discord? That's cool. Is this where I went up? Yeah, it's about where I went up last time, okay. Just kind of weaved our way through the hills, it looks like. Yeah, I think I looked up yours after the stream, but I've already forgotten what they look like. Yeah, so you can see what our money looks like. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. I think the only the only money I have outside of US is I have a couple of Canadian coins. I don't even have any bills of Canadian. Um, and then I think I have like a a bah Bahamian Bahamian uh, penny that I like randomly found and. I think somebody gave me some money from Thailand and the Philippines. But I don't... I think I might have one bill from each. So, like, I think it's Philippine peso. I don't remember what the Thailand uh, currency is, but... Yeah, I think they just look cool. I think it'd be cool to collect a lot of that. I'm not really, like, a, a collector of anything, but... I don't know, the money just looks cool. Having all kinds of different currency would just be, I think, look cool, so. Maybe I'm crazy. Alright, here we go. Place number two. We also got an airdrop here. 
<laughs> nice, yeah. Thailand uses bot, okay. Yeah, I don't I don't remember the uh the de denomination, like what how many it was or whatever, but or even what it what it translates to in US dollars. But yeah, it just it's it's cool. I think it has I think you were saying it has like plastic in it, some of the some of the bills. I think that's one of them. It has like a see-through like plastic kind of circle. I <laughs> like collecting Pokemon cards, yeah. Actually, it's probably pretty similar. I think there's uh, like 196 UN recognized countries or something, so... 196... well, actually no. I was gonna say 196 different currencies, but a lot of Europe uses the Euro, so, you know, any of those countries you went to. Or the... what is it? The French... Well, I know a lot of the African countries use like a fresh... French... French franc or something like that, like a, a different currency, but... Um, yeah. Alright. Gotta go left here. This is some pretty smooth sailing on this ground. Australian dollars. Chan sent about 10 US dollars. Okay, thank you, Artem. And thank you, Chan. I don't know if Chan's still here. There we go, 6,900 for that one. Let's see if we got anything else left. Start tracking, okay again, Unshakable Island, looks like it has most of them. Dormant Volcano, Dormant Volcano, Dormant Volcano, can't track that, or that. Oh wait, here you go. Seismic Survey, so here's one that you're talking about, we should probably do that one. Can't track that, that, and that's that's the last of them. Okay, so a lot of them were... Actually, I already forgot. What was it? Dormant... No. Unshakable Island. Okay. Australian bills all have their clear plastic windows in one corner. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen Australian uh, currency, actually. Unshakable Island. Let's go here. This is where it'd be nice to have that preset I was just talking about. A bunch of preset trucks. You don't have to spend a bunch of time doing this. Because I keep using the same ones because I want the smaller trucks for the autonomous winch. But I also want the... Uh, the bed capability. So we'll use the same, same ones we just did because th that seems to be... Oops, not that guy. This guy. This guy, and this guy, or girl. Let us do most of the stuff we wanted to do. And let's do... That. Let's do... That, that. I keep, I keep backing out. I'm just equipping four, just, you know, like I said, in case maybe we find something where we have to do one of them. And at least we'll have the truck that can do it. Okay, let's split them up. Maybe... Warthog over here and Scout 800. There we go. Having millions of dollars in your account looks better than any dollar. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that would be... That would be good, wouldn't it? Alright, here we go. Let's go to the... Oh my gosh. That thing's got to be tough to get to. Holy smokes. Okay, we'll try. Wait, scan the entrance to the cave with a drone and then take a photo of the cave. They also have holographic seal of approval if the light shines on it. That's pretty cool. One of the security features, I'm guessing.
You need to start a legal business right now. Alright, I'm going to ask you guys. I know what, what I think I want to do. But what do you guys think would be the most interesting? This is about a, this is a SnowRunner question. What do you guys think would be the most interesting playthrough? It could be one, any one of them, or a combination. So, uh, all scouts, and obviously it, we would have to modify it some somehow, because like obviously you can't deliver the heavy trailers or you know some certain set of low trailers that have to have uh, certain trucks, you know. All scout playthrough, like basically just use scouts for every single thing, uh, except for the stuff that we can't do with uh, with the scout. This would be a hard mode playthrough, or oh no, or an all small trucks playthrough. Again, this would probably have to be modified, but uh, I'm thinking like the crocodile, the Tatra 805, the Acteon, the Warthog. Um, probably missing some. I can't can't seem to think of anything else. Uh, maybe the Zix 5368. Maybe the Kodiak. I don't know. Kodiak's kind of small. But maybe we wouldn't include the Kodiak. We would just stick to one slot trucks. I don't really know what we would do. but Or uh, an all highway truck playthrough. So we would have like the W990 GMC um, the Fleet Star, or no, not the Fleet Star, the uh, Trans Star, the Ford, and the 57X. What do you guys think? I think that would be kind of an interesting playthrough. One of, one of those ones, or again, possibly multiple, like maybe we'll do highway trucks with some scouts or, you know, something like that. Mainly single axles, so you think like the small trucks, the uh, the Warthog, Acteon, that kind of stuff would be pretty fun. Okay, scan it with a drone. Now I gotta go up there and take a picture, huh? Highways would be pretty interesting as well. Yeah, the thing is, I only have one open save slot. Uh, and I mean, maybe maybe eventually down the line we could do all three of them. But yeah, with right now, uh, I deleted one save yesterday on stream, so that's the reason I'm asking. I think it'd be fun to do a different, um, like, you know, an all highways one. And another thing I was thinking about doing is if we do all highways, or if we do all scouts, or even um, an all small trucks one, I think it'd be fun to do kind of a random order. I've never played the game really in a random order, but maybe put put every region in a randomizer and just start off in that region and go. So we would, we would kind of be upgrade hamstrung as well. Like we'd be, you know, using some pretty bad trucks. Like you might not have the best engine, you might not have a good winch, not good tires, like all that kind of stuff. So it would make it even even more difficult, especially right at the start when you only got crap tires anyways. Well actually, now that I think about it, some of those trucks, like uh, if you were to go go use like the, say the Crocodile or something right away, I think it might have a little bit, but it might start with off-road tires, I don't remember. So some of those might give us an advantage off the start, but then a disadvantage in the long run. Because uh, you can use the small trucks to scout. Yeah, I don't really scout to be honest, but... Um, hello ATL, sorry, I saw your, your chat earlier as well, I just didn't acknowledge it. My bad. I was planning to, but I kept, kept, uh, kept talking. <laughs> Yabbering on, as I like to call it. Yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool, so we would, my guess, anyways, would be we'd have to jump to Season 9 to go get the, the Zix 566A, right? We'd have to jump to Season 1, 
I mean, we don't have to do it right away, but like to have a, a decent fleet that we want to use the rest of the time, we, w we probably would want to go there really early on. So we probably have to jump up to Season 9, jump to Season 1 to get the Warthog Acteon. The season 9 would be for the 6566A. Um, the Tatra 805 we could just buy when we had the cash. Same with the Crocodile. Um, if we do end up using the Kodiak, we could recover that, obviously, in Michigan. Hello, Philip. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Philip? Um, what else? I feel like I keep missing one. The 6566A was one that I was kept forgetting about, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think that would be pretty fun. It would definitely be a challenge. Some of those small trucks, like, the Acteon can actually do long logs. Did you guys know that? The Acteon can do long logs, but the new Azov Adam cannot. <laughs> so... Logging, I mean, like I said, we'd have to make some, we'd have to make some changes because we can't, we can't do short logs, right? You can do medium logs with a trailer, so we could struggle to make that work. And we could do long logs with the Acteon, again, struggling to make that work, but it is possible. Um, but the media, or, uh, the short logs, we would have to use a truck that can equip short logs, so that's where we might, you know, have to modify the game a little bit. Alright, let's just jump back up. Oh, come on. Oh, there it was. The Zix 5368, the one in Team Ear. Yep. Liam Star playthrough. Yeah, we, we could do an All Highways one and we could use the Transtar. Transtar Ford, GMC, 57X, and a W990. So we'd have five vehicles. And actually, that one might not be a bad one to do either because... You could do that one. You can get the Transtar in Michigan. You get the GMC in Michigan. And then the other three, you'd have to buy. Right? You'd have to buy the 57X, you'd have to buy the W990. And you'd have to buy... the Ford. So, that, that actually wouldn't be a bad one, because then you could literally play it in any order. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to just... Because if, if we're not... If we're not... If, Basically, if we're super strict on the amount of the trucks we can use, it doesn't really matter what order we play the game in because we're not using those trucks. So, like, we could jump to, you know, Season 11 or Season 12 or 10 even. You know, we could go get the Kenworth, but we, we can't use it. It's not, it's not a truck we're allowing ourselves to use, you know? I don't know. Just, just some thoughts. Maybe I should do a do a channel poll, see what see what everyone thinks. Because honestly, I think any any one of those three uh, playthroughs would be really fun. I know Deck Plays was doing a highway playthrough. I don't know if anybody's ever done an all scouts playthrough or a, or an all small trucks one. But I would definitely do them both on hard mode because that would just make it more interesting, more fun. Anyways, I think anyways, I just. Not having to pay for fuel is kind of taking the, the fun out of the game for me. <laughs> After I start playing hard mode, it's like, man, this is way too easy for uh, normal mode. So. Uh, let's see, one more task to do in Cosmodrome, leaving that for another day. 60%, very nice. I think I'm still at 50, I haven't made much progress over the last couple of days. Yeah, he does one with no all-wheel drive and diff lock. Have you thought about a hard mode plus with everything maxed out even harder? No, I haven't, I haven't thought about that. I... I don't really know what like I have to be honest I haven't really looked up the new game plus rules what am I scanning here there we go geez that one's tiny I saw that off to the left but I thought I was already moving right there we go okay See, at least these ones, they give you a little flash of like, hey, you gotta go this way. 
Whereas those water ones, they don't do that. Six times fuel and loading. Oh, I'm just thinking about the uh, 1440 for that, nice. I just thought about this because none of those small trucks can have a crane crane in a bed other than the Acteon, so we would be paying tons of money for auto loading, holy smokes. That would make it way more of a challenge, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm doing normal mode. If I was to do hard mode, it would be like 3%. That's funny. Okay, visit... Wait, where'd it, where'd it go? Visit this area. Okay, that's still pretty far away. How about this one? Can't track. That's in Dormant Volcano. Dormant. Dormant. Same. Okay, so both of these are like over in the, this corner. I think let's shut this down quick. Let's go to what vehicle is this one? Scout 800. Okay, let's bring over one of these ones maybe. Acteon. Let's do west. No. Where is it? Mm, there we go. Northwestern. You can up the recovery cost to six times. Yeah, very limited on cranes if we did that, for sure. But if we added, like I said, if we combined some of them, like maybe we would do small trucks and scouts, because all of the scouts are pretty small as well. You know, maybe we exclude certain ones, like maybe we say, yeah, the F-750 is a bit too big, you know, something like that, because that's a normal trailer, normal truck kind of thing. We, we'd have to kind of fine tune some of the details a bit, but... Uh, we, if we did that, we would be able to have like a crane on the F-750, or we could have a crane on the Lodestar, or a crane on the Burlak. You know, it could it could open up a couple of different options in that way. But we would we'd probably have to have duplicates of vehicles because if you think about it, if we were only allowing ourselves the uh, we'll we'll just say small trucks for now, okay? We'll just say Acteon, Warthog, Tatra 805. The Zix 566A. I feel like I already missed one in the crocodile. I don't know if I said that one, but um, that's only like five trucks. And so if one's for fuel and one's for like maintenance, like we only have three. And yeah, it could get it could get pretty rough pretty quick. And then again, like I said, we'd have to have a. Pro I mean, we would be paying tons of money if we couldn't use the crane like at all. I mean, we we would have one on the Acteon, but. We'd basically be craneless through most of our playthrough. I agree, F750 is definitely medium duty. I guess the forklift could come in handy. Oh, true. Yeah, that is very true. The forklift would be very handy because not many scouts can lift much. Holy cow. Uh, but what I was going to get back to with Livonia is, um, in our current hard mode playthrough, we have not recovered a single time yet. So we're, the goal is to not recover at all. So we've gone through, you know, Michigan, we went through Alaska, Tamir, Kola, Yukon, and Wisconsin without a single recovery. We drove back to the garage, all of our vehicles at the end of the seasons. Um, yeah, we've, we've never gotten in a bad enough situation that we needed to recover. We've gotten in a few bad situations, but we were always able to to somehow fix it, recover, not recover, re-rescue, there we go, rescue ourselves without needing to uh, pay for a recovery, so, yeah, I don't know, I, like, we could up, up the cost to six times, that one probably wouldn't affect me, because like I said, I'm trying not to do it anyways. The ones that would really get us would be, like, the crane on, on that playthrough just because you wouldn't have much cranes or wouldn't have much money because you don't have much crane you just have one single crane and maybe maybe we rule out the jat tires for a while maybe we use them not really sure because like obviously using them would be a huge help off the start 
but after a while, if, if that's all you're using, I don't know, it, you know, it'd get pretty tough. You'd probably want to switch over to them. Maybe once, once you unlocked all your normal tires, which was, I think, rank six for scouts, I think. Maybe, I don't know. No, I think it's seven, actually. I think you unlock the muds at seven for scouts, so you could unlock the mud tires, and then at that point we could switch to the, uh, switch to the jats or something. Who knows? Just, just brainstorming, guys. But we have an open slot, so we'll probably start something at some point. Some different playthrough. Which I think would be really fun. Hello, Sawyer. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Sawyer? I'm not even tracking the mission I was trying to do. Okay, let's see. Was it this one? Mm. No, that's Stormit Volcano. Dehydration. Here we go. Explore this area. Yeah, we're trying to do a no chain playthrough on our current hard mode. I think we would have to allow chains in those ones, because we would be super restrictive on trucks. This one, we're not buying any trucks, our current hard mode. But we can still have all the trucks we find, so there's lots of big trucks we can use. I mean, we don't have them all yet, but we got the 605R now. We got the 5600TS. We got a couple other big ones. All right, are we in the zone? Almost. Okay, let's drive just a bit further forward here. We should be able to clear this entire zone because we only have, what is it? Uh, 280 meter range. I probably should mark this actually. Let's clear all those. Let's go this way. So yeah, the percentages are... Wait, what? Okay, there we go. It's like, the game doesn't want us to go that way for some reason. We're at 90%. Okay, so let's go this way, and then... Looks like there's actually a little bit over here as well. I don't know where that other patch was, so we'll just go to this one. Honestly, it looks like we've explored pretty much all of this, so I feel like it should be at like 97%. Still 92. Oh, there we go, 94. That's it, 94, okay. Oh, there it goes, 96. I think we got a bit here, and maybe there's a little bit around the edge over here. It does look like there's just a tiny bit there. I think we got most of all the rest of that. So we'll just pop the drone up here, and s hopefully this is enough here. Hopefully. And yeah, for some reason it doesn't, every once in a while, like it says 96% here. We'll back out now, it's 97. So yeah, we probably have to go over here and just skim up the edge maybe. I don't know, it looks like it's... I, I guess I'm going to fly off back behind me quick just because while we're here. Just to try and get a little bit of extra percentage. Kind of make, make sure we're out of the zone, see if we can get... Oh, actually we can't go that way.
There's like an invisible wall right here. I'm moving a little bit, but... It's like move forward 10, 15 feet, stop. Move forward 10, 15 feet, stop. But at least you can see now we're outside the circle for sure. So... All right, that's 192 meters away. Definitely got to look at New Game Plus options for the new playthrough. You can simulate hard mode if you want. Or uh, change things up slightly. For mine, I got rid of the $5,000 fee to change regions for hard mode normally, but... I kept all the other hard mode features. I don't mind the, the fee to pay regions. It's 3500 Discovered a new shortcut, really? 98%? It's gotta be that last bit. Right there. Do you think the Kodiak counts as small enough for the playthrough idea? Yeah, that's that's the thing. There's a couple of, like the 65368, that does have single slot stuff. So I think that one is kind of easy to say, yeah, you could probably do that. Just don't equip a, du a dual, you know, two slot anything. Just use it as a single slot. Actually, does that one have... That one can have a crane in that bed, can't it? I never, never really tried, I guess. Um, but yeah, it is kind of small. It can have a two slot, uh, two slot bed, no single slots, but I would probably leave it up to you guys what you would want for that. I, I personally would kind of want it to be like all one slot trucks. I think that would be more fun. So even though the, uh, even though the Zix 5368 can have dual slot, we would just you know, only use the single slot, so that would kind of work. But yeah, the the, uh, the Kodiak could be an option as far as the, you know, it, it is a pretty small truck. It does have the two tires, the, or the, I was going to say two tires on each side on the rear, but I totally butchered that. Just one rear axle instead of two. But yeah, I don't know. I would say it, it, it's, uh, it's a possibility, whereas most other trucks are just instantly ruled out. That one's small enough where it's a possibility, sure. Uh, you need something that can carry metal beams and slabs, etc. Well, that's the thing. We might have to use a lot of trailer cell thing. Because even if we were to do an all-scouts playthrough, almost no scouts can haul trailers. Or, uh, excuse me, can haul cargo, right? You have the burlap, which can have a single slot. You'd have the, uh, uh, what am I trying to think? Um, no, I can't, can't seem to think. Um, Burlak, the F-750, and Lodestar. There we go. I could not think of the name. There's, there might be some other ones I can't really think off the top of my head, but, um, oh, geez, that's really far away. But yeah, we could we could use, uh, you know, two slot, three slot, whatever trailers, and even the four slot trailer. But again, we'd have to modify it for certain things, like um, for the the big drills in uh, Michigan that you need the um, I think they're oil rig drills. I don't remember the name, but they're five slot. So we would ha I mean, some of those smaller trucks can have a, a saddle low, which you could then solve that, but if you're using all scout trucks, then you're, you know, that's where I think you'd have to, if you did an all scout playthrough, you'd have to modify it a little bit. If you did an all uh, highway trucks, might have to modify it, I don't know. But I feel like the, you could make all of them work somehow, but you might have to include, like maybe if you did an all small trucks one, or excuse me, an all scouts one, you'd have to have like one small truck or, you know, something like that.
But like the F750, if you did all scouts, that could carry that four long trailer. Or the burlap could. And that way you could deliver it. But just imagine carrying like two metal beams on that thing. That thing would just be weighed down the whole time. Like your whole playthrough is going to be super slow. What about the saddle missions? Yeah, exactly. There are some saddle low trailers throughout the campaign or, you know, story or whatever. Um, I know off the top of my head the uh, 770G trailer in Season 11, that's a saddle low. And the, I believe, I could be wrong on this, I believe the, uh, the fishing boat trailer, I think that one, actually no, I think they did change that to a saddle high. The ship from uh, Season 10, I think that's a saddle high trailer. But it, it's normally a saddle low trailer. But that's what I mean with the, uh, the stuff. We'd have to modify it a little bit because there are certain missions that we would not be able to complete without saddles or, you know, if we did if we did an all uh, all highways playthrough, maybe, I don't know if any of those trucks can haul long logs. We might be out of luck, I don't know. So we'd have to certainly dig into it a little bit, try and figure it out. But I do think it'd be really fun to do one of those three playthroughs. What truck would we use for saddle high? No idea. I think, and maybe I'm wrong, I think the crocodile can have a high saddle, can't it? Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like there was one of those small trucks that had a high saddle and I was like, how does that have a high saddle? I'm probably wrong on that. Geez, some of these holes are just super deep right off the bat. You barely roll into it and it just drops off. But yeah, what do you think would be a good saddle high truck? Maybe we just allow something like uh, P16 or, you know, something that you find early on or most people find early on in the game. Maybe you, uh, maybe you pick a big truck, or maybe you pick something you find early. Maybe you pick a small truck. Maybe we do something, the smallest high saddle or something, you know, try and, try and stick with the theme of, like, small trucks. Maybe even dedicate one smaller truck with a high saddle, but not too overpowered. Yeah, exactly, something like that, where you just kind of pick a truck. Oh, you think the Kodiak does? There you go. So that could be an option. Maybe we do an all small small trucks playthrough, but the Kodiak is like the uh, the saddle high truck or something. I feel like that thing would that thing would just flip upward. Like it, the, there's not much weight in the front, and then you throw on that uh, big saddle high trailer behind it. I feel like that would just like tip the thing. But I appreciate all you guys' feedback. Oops. Uh, if doing a scouting playthrough, I'd go for the Kodiak for high. Yeah, we could do something like that. Maybe, because if you're doing a small or scout playthrough, it kind of makes sense to, at least in my head, to stick to something that's small, right? You don't want to have like an all scout playthrough and then, oh, hey, my saddle high truck is the femme. <laughs> like, it just, it, doesn't add up, you know what I mean? Like, you could do it that way, but... What the heck? Oh, I'm not looking at the right thing. There we go, got an external roll cage. You definitely need someone to winch the front also. Yeah, it would probably just be... F I didn't realize how low we were on fuel with this. We would probably need to drive a scout out in front of us just to try and pull it down. I feel like that, that thing would just be going nuts. Alright, this is the other one we had to do here. So let's go take care of this, and then I think we can go to Dormant Volcano with our current setup and see if we can knock out some stuff over there. Let's see, what are we at? Oops, what are we at percentage-wise now? 91%, nice.
Uh, 91 in Carpathians, that is, guys, not total completion. Total completion, we were at like 60-ish before. 60 when we started today, so... If we're lucky, maybe we'll get like 65, something like that. But yeah, I think since, uh, since Dex has a, or Dex, I should say, Dex plays, Dex has a, uh, a highway playthrough, I feel like I should go with the all scouts or all small trucks one instead, even though I think the highway one would be really fun. In the area. I used the Kodiak for a really long time. I used to use it for heavy saddles until I got the Royal. Which was probably even harder to use stock. Really. Alright, one down. Let's mark this and mark this. But, uh, I guess my, my, I don't know if it's a question, question or concern or whatever, but, because like, like I said earlier, if we did do like an all highways truck playthrough, we could probably do that in order because you find the Transtar and GMC in Michigan and then the rest of them you'd have to buy. But the other ones, it would almost be easier to kind of do them out of order because you have to like jump to season one for the small trucks one to go find the Acteon and the Warthog and jump to season nine for the Zix 566A, you know? So it'd almost be easier to like, hey, let's go to season nine and finish up whatever there is to do. I mean, obviously it would be easier to do the entire thing. Actually, the 566A could work as a water truck for that. I don't have a hydro monitoring system. All right, I gotta run something else out. But yeah, like the scouts, we would probably have to jump ahead again to go get like the burlac, the F750. Um, I mean, I suppose we wouldn't have to, but we would be in Michigan just struggling with the CK for a while. C, uh, CK Scout 800. Because I feel like if you're going to do the whole playthrough with those smaller trucks, like, you might as well just start with all, you know, give yourself all the options right off the bat. You know what I mean? Because otherwise you you only have, like, like, for example, if we played Michigan only and we didn't, uh, we only used the GMC and the Transar, it, like, it would take forever to get, you know, get anywhere but if you used some of the like if you were to play the all scouts playthrough you could probably go get the f750 and burlac and have like some more options to start out different ways to play it so i don't know we'd have to see how we want to do it but i think all three of them could be fun Okay. So we need, what was it, a hydro monitoring system. Okay, so that's this truck here. We can, yeah, go down here, go across. Yeah, it's probably faster. All right, let's do it. Wait, actually, hang on. I can just, uh... Wait, I can't... Is there a drone drop around here? Right here. 
I think I can go back, trade stuff at the drone, maybe. Oh, actually, wait, here we go. I got it. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, no, that's in our bed, isn't it? Yeah, that's in, that's in the bed. That wouldn't work. All right, just wasted a bunch. All scout logging would be torture. Yeah, they gotta add... Um, I was talking about this the other day. In Mudrunner, they have scout trucks or scout log trailers. We still don't have a small log trailer in SnowRunner. Small logs have been in the game for almost over two years now. Or wait, well, maybe it's been just under. Season 4. Um, so I... Wait... Yeah, it's almost three years now that we've had small logs in the game. We, we don't have a small log trailer. But yeah, you, you think uh, that, that logging would be bad? Imagine, Dion, been doing long logs. That would be brutal. That thing... That would take... Yeah, that would just take forever. Again, medium you could probably pull behind with something. You could attach it to a trailer and pull it behind, but this, the uh, small ones... Because you can do the long ones with the Acteon. Mediums you could pull behind, but the small ones you'd have to find a small truck. I don't know... You know, exactly which truck's gonna equip the small add-on. But we'd have to find something. Hello, Ian. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? You started a Michigan save once with only the K7M tractor. It was fun. I could see that. I know uh, there's a, a guy... He was here earlier. Um, he he grew up with a, a K7M, like, around him. I think... I don't know if it was, like, his grandpa's or something like that, but... Um, and so he, he jumped to season 8 right away and got a K7M. And, like, he was using it for, like, logging and as, like, a rescue truck and stuff. And, like, just imagine starting out the game and you have a K7M as, like, your kind of a fallback truck. You can... He basically, like, if you look at this cliff here, this is a good example of what he would ha would have had to do. Because like, apparently the K7M can't lift logs high enough to put them into logging trucks. So he would have to pull up like this right up alongside here and then pull up the K7M onto the side of the hill and drop the logs into the truck and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just sounds like a fun, fun operation. Especially like for rescues and stuff, having that big thing. Like I remember struggling for hours, it probably took me like three hours to go rescue the uh, Kodiak in the swamp behind the garage in Black River. You could run out there with the K7M and be back out of there in like 10 seconds. Like literally just drive out there, winch to it, drive right back. No problem. I mean, you could do the same with like the Mastodon or the Fem or something like that, but... Yeah, that one... I don't know. Just the big tires and stuff, like you said, the K7M with the 79 inch huge tires. Starting off with that thing, just pulling something out of there. Hey, JJ, would the Forester be classified as a small truck? I would not classify it as a small truck, but I suppose you could. That would make small logs easy, right? The one that I was just talking about. It was a blast, those swamp recoveries. Yeah, I bet you that made it real quick. I actually have a video, uh, 
If you guys remember the red Chevy out in the farm, I remember one person was really struggling with it, uh, one of my friends, and I was like, it's actually not too bad, I'll, hear, I'll show you how to do it. And I told him, just take your, your Chevy CK1500, use a crane on the Fleet Star, push it out there, grab the truck, pull it right back. And I made a video on it, how you can you can start a brand new hard mode, fuel up, buy a crane, you know, do a couple of things. And I think the whole video lasted like 10 minutes. I got the whole the, the truck all the way out there and back in like, you know, I wasted a little bit of time with like grabbing fuel and just basically starting a whole new hard mode. Um, because you have to like fix the Fleet Star right there and stuff. So I was like trying to show off like, even if you start a brand new hard mode, you can get this truck, you can grab the upgrade here, you can, you know, fix the truck with this and whatever. Basically tried to show that like with no upgrades, anything like that, you can get it. And uh, yeah, it took like probably 10 minutes total, I would say, but maybe like seven of actual like, you know, pushing it out there, grabbing it, pulling it back. Uh, what are we at? 7 a.m. Let's go to 10. But yeah, if you guys are, if, you, if anyone's interested in that, it's on the channel somewhere. Sort of a... A rescue that most people would say is pretty hard, but if you do, if you know what you're doing, you can do it in just a couple of minutes. It's actually not too bad. Or it's actually not bad at all if you know what you're doing. Alright, let's try maybe... I've crossed this place a bunch of different times. And I never really go the same way, so... Kind of just drive across whatever looks like it's a path, kind of. Alright, so quick question for everybody who's here. How many of you guys have a hard mode save on SnowRunner? Or a New Game Plus with harder rules? We'll include that as well. I want to see how many people here uh, play on hard mode in SnowRunner, or, like I said, New Game Plus with harder, more restrictions or whatever you want to say. More restrictions than normal mode. Doesn't need to be more than hard mode, but... Nobody? Well, there we go, old man farmer. Farmer does, okay. So we got one. Anybody else? Actually, this is the exact same path we came down, isn't it? I remember this. I was kind of curious to see how many people. So one, one out of 30. I used to have a hard mode. You want to make another one, okay. Nope, normal is my skill level. Let's see, I have a hard mode save, but I'm doing a new game plus right now, so... I mean, you could, you could say that's kind of two. But you're, you are one person, so I guess... I'll count it as one. Oh, man. Tank baby, you don't have one, okay. Yeah, I guess I was kind of curious to see the uh, the number of whoever's watching, how many people play on hard mode. You got up to 50% on your hard mode. Okay, that's pretty good. Wh what? Uh, when was that? Because obviously 50% when there's only the base game would be a lot easier than 50% now when you got 12 seasons worth or a year ago when there's 8 seasons worth, you know what I mean? So I'm curious when you had 50%, I guess.
All right, now that we know we have a couple people with hard mode here, how far are you guys percentage-wise? Switch to New Game Plus a little before Season 12 dropped, gotcha. No hard mode for you, Zeb? Yeah, I mean, for my first, like, basically two years, I just played normal mode. But I was watching others play hard mode, you know, because that came out, what was it, Season s When was that? Was that 4? I don't remember. I wasn't, I don't think I was playing at the time. 5, 6? I really don't remember when hard mode came out. Alright, we gotta go down there. But I think... I'm almost positive it was out before 7, wasn't it? I remember getting comments on a Season 6 video about hard mode. So I think it might have came out in 5 or possibly even 4? You think it was 5, okay. Yeah, 5 is kind of when I came back to the game. I I stepped away from... I, season 1 came out and I played it, and then I stepped away from like June 2020 to like July 2021, something like that. Went on a trip, came back, and never played it. Alright, that is done. 16,800. And then so, I didn't play it for like part of Season 1, all of 2, all of 3, and then... Basically all of four. I started playing it when four came out, but I wasn't playing four at the time. And then I jumped all the way up to five when that came out. So I played five through twelve uh, when they dropped. All right, I think we are good. Everything else here is dormant volcano. I don't know where this one is, but. Again, we'll have to come back to it. So let's go to Dormant Volcano. Actually, let's let's go back and see what we are total completion. Load game, 72%. So we gained 2% so far today. Not not great, I guess. You got Michigan and Alaska, 100% just started. Must be Team Your Russia, I'm assuming. It sounds like you're playing it in order, so... Uh, Dormant Volcano. We'll leave one space. Yeah, that looks good. Acteon. Let's grab our three people here. That dude. That dude. That girl. Didn't mean that. Okay, let's do that, that. Oh shoot, I should have left a space probably. Just in case. Alright, let's do that. Gotta do this one quick. Let's do that and... Something like that. Leave a space again. Let's see. Got those cameras. Oh, I got the cameras twice. Let's take those off. Okay, so I got camera traps, camcorders. I need light beacons or rangefinders. What did I put on this one? Light beacons. Okay, so we don't have any rangefinders. And we got one rangefinder now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's put uh, at least one of them up there. No idea if it's the right one, but we got one. Okay, can't track. Here we go. Find the hermit's house. Let's go with the scout 800. Where's that? It's a long drive. Let's just recover here and make it shorter. Oh, is it Eastern Outpost? Okay, there we go.
Is that your first time playing through it, Old Farmer, or did you play through it on normal mode and then switch over to hard mode and now you're uh, into team here? Eight hundred meters to go. So we deflated the tires and then we inflated them kind of one at a time. Yeah. Top up, I suppose. Why not? Extra three liters. Probably won't need it, but. One other thing that would be nice in this game is if they had, um, <coughs> excuse me, if they had more of a list of exactly what you need to do, sometimes they have, like, for this one, it might say, go to the Hermit's Shack. And you're like, oh, okay, cool, I'll go there. And then they'll be like, oh, you need a rangefinder to drop off here. It's like, well, you couldn't have told me that before. Like, sometimes they do, does show you that, you, you, know, you know, the next step is you'll need a rangefinder, but other times it doesn't. So... It'd be nice if they had all, everything you need to do for that contract or task, or even expedition, listed so you, you know exactly where you got to go and what you got to do after that, so you can kind of make things a little bit easier, more streamline it. Because I might drive all the way out here thinking, oh, I don't need any bigger truck because I just got to visit it, you know, find the hermit's house, then you're done. You're actually show you. So that's all it has, just one single objective. Oh, okay, you started over on hard mode, gotcha. Are you enjoying the hard mode a little bit more? With a, you know, more of a little bit more of a challenge, or...? You agree, Zeb? Ouch. Some nice ground through here. Can make some good time on some of this flat area. Just under um, drone range now. Hello, Blaine. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Blaine? I've done this multiple times where I keep coming down here and I'm like getting right next, right next to this edge. And I'm like, oh shoot, I should have should have gone up and over that hill. I mean, it's not impossible. It's not even super hard, but probably be, would be easier to take a more straight shot. Yeah, hard mode's more enjoyable. That's good. I did the same thing. I really enjoyed my normal mode, but then once I started hard mode, I was like, yeah, that's just not very fun anymore. Like, it was just too easy, like, recovering and, like, everything was kind of just... Didn't really have much of a point, I guess. Whereas now you got to be more careful with your money and buying trailers and buying fuel and all that kind of stuff. Transferring trucks between regions. Everything is, I don't know, a little bit more thought out. Even buying parts to fix up your vehicles. Finding a fuel trailer in hard mode feels like finding gold. Yeah, I remember I tried to go as long as I possibly could in my hard mode without buying fuel. And I know I made quite a few mistakes. I probably passed up, like, 
I can think of like 700-ish, just right off the top of my head, seven, 772, I think. Um, liters, that is. But I probably pass up on like, I don't know, 1,000 to 1,200 liters or something if I would have done stuff better. See, now it said stage complete. Now I gotta go do something else. Find an old cave. What? Find an old cave? Like way up there or something? Alright, let's see if we can... I don't know, maybe this can mark it. I don't know if that's a cave or not. I mean, it looks like there's some trails right here. You could... Nope. Okay. So I literally, I literally have no idea. Oh, maybe there, maybe this, this sign is trying to point me in the direction. Okay, so we got this sign. Let's see if we can follow this at all. Alright, we'll go this way, maybe? I don't know if it's down here. We gotta climb. I don't have any idea where this cave could be. This seems like a kind of a waste of time mission. I mean, unless it's like up here, I don't, is that a cave right there? No, it's definitely not. I don't know where a cave would be. Has anybody completed this one? If you have, I would like to know where the cave is. I don't have a clue, but I guess I'll drive around and see if possibly we can find something. You guys think we're wasting our time here? I feel like we might be. You think I passed it? On the way in or what? No flight zone? Okay, now I'm too close. Don't think the cave's on the back side of this. Haven't done that one yet. Wait, what is this? Ford? Down near the campsite? Oh, like right here maybe? Kind of looks like it might be it, huh?
<laughs> Don't mind me just driving across your house. Running over your bees. Okay, where was that one marked? Like right there, maybe? Kind of looks like it might be on the map. Maybe it's behind all these trees. I can't see anything. Wow, that chair is solid. And the house. Kind of hard to tell. All right, well, that doesn't look like anything there. You kind of did on the map. That also doesn't look like anything back here. What is... that was the area we had to get on. I mean, it kind of looks like there's a trail going up there, but... Oh! Over here! There's a big orange... or a uh, big circle. I am an idiot. All right, let's go get this done. I think we still have three um, modules, or base modules to find. We only have like seven out of ten, which is kind of surprising considering how far we are into the game. Wait, I have to go over the mountain, don't I? Over or around? Okay, now we're good. Should be able to fly down this. Hundred and eighty meters. Wonder if we can use a drone to spot her or not. Actually this is the same way we came too. I remember coming through this part. Did you find the intelligence module? I don't think I have. I can check after this, but I don't think so. I think you were saying you couldn't couldn't figure out how to use it or something. <laughs> 
Stage complete. Oh, there's the cave. Okay. I was like, I don't see any cave, but now I do. Take a photo of the old cave. There we go. See, now it's another stage thing. Like, it doesn't tell you where you gotta go at the start of these, and it just kinda keeps adding on. So now I guess we'll use the, the AFIM, because it's closer. You still haven't figured it out. Nice. What does it say? Like, what's the description? You think it's for early game, but you uncovered it, but... Or before you... Uncovered... Or before the map is uncovered. Sorry, I can't read. Intelligence module. Hmm. I'm assuming you found it in Arizona, because I found two so far in Carpathians. I haven't found any in Arizona. So, I must be... I must be starting all the wrong missions. Nope, don't have all the drive on. Deflate the tires. So you can go at a pretty good speed with the tires at halfway uh, pressurized or whatever you want to say. So that's probably a good good thing to use in a lot of scenarios, but I usually just fill them up just so I don't have to worry about it and just speed along. But you're probably better off going maybe 50%, 50%, uh, 50 of your time at like half filled, like 5% at all the way uh, low as you can, and then like the other, what would it be, 50 or 45% the rest of uh, all the way filled. So it's, it's like half and half between half filled and all the way filled and then the, the extra like 5%, or not extra, but the remaining like 5% is when you really need that grip and you go all the way down. Wow, that's an interesting spot to get stuck. Alright, let's see if it makes a difference here. We can't move at all. And now we can. We have 1.5 million dollars now. I still don't have all the trucks though, funnily enough. I keep seeing how I have a lot of money, but I don't end up buying the last remaining trucks. I believe we need two, two more trucks. Didn't, didn't give us a very good spot, did it? Ah, oh, crap. I'm so used to closing out of this screen 
on SnowRunner. Because normally it's like, you need to close the functions before you can winch, and then... Now here you don't have to. He tried to Google it with no luck, really? That's interesting. Okay, let's start scanning. Some of them are so tiny. That's kind of funny, you googled it with no luck. I think most people probably haven't found them yet. That'd be my guess. Like, I've... I've found... Two out of t uh, two out of the five findable ones, so I'm still missing three. So I think, I mean, even I'm at what I say 72 percent, and I'm still missing quite a few of them. So yeah, I'm, I'm assuming most people probably haven't found any. There we go. Emergency reserves large. 13,400. Another one down. Can't do that one. Oh, that's super close to our base. What, do we, what truck do we have right here? Tuz 108. Explore the lake with an echo sounder. This one should be really quick. Uh, but since I've already scouted all the airdrop locations, it's useless. Um, I guess not sure. I I haven't. I know for sure I haven't found all the airdrops, or at least I'm assuming I haven't. So for me, maybe it'll be useful. I don't know. I haven't found it yet though. So explore the lake with an echo sounder. Do I just gotta get the fish? Okay. Successful scan. Okay. Scan some other lake. Where? Way over here. Okay. I also googled it the other day. Nada. Okay. Roger, do you have it as well? And you're just trying to figure out well, how it's used? Oh, it says, I was just wondering that, um, it says allow to scout location of airdrops around the installation site. So it looks like you have to install it somewhere. Forgot about that. So like you'll have to install it here at like a base camp, right? And then apparently it scouts out any airdrops around there. I've scouted pretty much all of my, my big loca- like, at the spawn of most of my locations, I think I've already used the, uh, the radar, so it probably wouldn't actually help for me either. I'm just gonna go down to the water. But this is another example of what I was just saying. Oh shoot, that was a bush, I thought that was the tree. I was feeling pretty good about that corner, thinking I had the tree. Turns out I have a little bush. Um, but where they, it'll show you like one location of like... Actually no, I think this one did say two. This one might be an exception I guess, but... Some of them don't tell you what you need to do. They'll say like, go use an echo sounder on this lake, and then you do it and they'll be like, Oh wait, there's another lake you gotta use it on. It's like, oh dang it. I thought it was gonna be a quick easy one, now I gotta go to 14 points. Uh, no, I haven't found it yet. Okay. But I'm missing some airdrops also. Okay. Yeah, I'm missing three... three modules. That's one of them. I'm 
Never trust a bush. <laughs> Lesson learned. Uh, I don't know if Lessons is in here, but that's his name. Lessons learned. You think you're going insane, Tank Baby? Why is that? I went to go get a drink, sat down, got back up to get a drink. Wait, what? I went to go get a drink, sat down, and got up again to get a drink. That's funny. You lost your mind for sure. I can, I can confirm you are officially going insane. You should meet, you should be admitted to an insane asylum right away. Oh, uh, there's lessons. We learned our lessons with the bush. Found a new climb. I was hoping you could drive up onto, or up to, intelligence center area and gather airdrop items. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Uh, from there, but it only discovers the airdrops. Oh, so you figured it out now? It discovers the airdrops? This is kind of an interesting lake. You get right to the top and then there's water right away. Who knows, that fish mission just worked. Maybe the other fish mission will work. The one that we can't seem to get working. Here, let's do this. Oh, really, I can't place it anywhere. I haven't tried it in the last uh, two days, but all right, bam, bam, bam. Why are you guys swimming out of my zone? So it seems like you gotta be quick. Actually, here, let's try it with the mouse. We can do it, we can be it faster. Really? Okay, let's do this, this, this. There we go. Big reinforced bumper. Another one down. Can't do it. Okay. Find an artifact. You got it. Two different places. Easy enough. Hopefully. They gotta be in all the same time. Yeah, you gotta be quick. Sometimes it's underneath the text. That's where having mouse and keyboard can be helpful. I can only go so fast when I'm using the controller, but with the uh, mouse and keyboard I can kind of move that as fast as you move the mouse, you know? Definitely uh, paid off there. Probably also answered a few people's questions. I usually get asked if I'm playing on PC or Xbox. So, anybody who is wondering that now, now you know. Look at this, we got a nice little path up right here. The rock is like perfect for that. 
All right, folks, gotta go. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you, Tank Baby. You as well. Appreciate you as always. Uh oh, what are we stuck on? Oh yeah, thanks for stopping in. Have a good rest of your night, and see you again soon, Tank Baby. See you. Blaine just finished scouting a Mandra, nice. Is that, uh... I know some people, some people jump right to a Mandra and then go back to, uh... to Lake Coft or Coved. Just because you gotta go back. Well, I guess you don't have to go back, but I think some of the missions are... Well, it depends on your order, I suppose, but... Yeah. All right, here we go. Not here. The other artifact area. So thing says noise. You can see the birds from pretty far away, way up there on that big tree, you can see them. One thing that is kind of weird, when you when you click on uh, your tire, listen to this. Makes the fuels, refueling sound on your tires. Instead of the, like, fixing, fixing parts sound. Kind of funny. Two hundred eighty meters, we're in drone range. Looks like it's right down on the water here. Oh, jeez. That was weird. The, the tree picked me up and spun me around and threw me into the other tree, basically. I'm so thankful that I do not have to do 20 loads of long logs in this game. <laughs> Loving it so far. Yeah, that is, a, that is a definite plus for a lot of people, I can tell you that much. Well, it looks like there's some junk here, here. Oh, that's it, okay. There we go, High Mount Snorkel. Another one down. Welcome in, Gawain. Okay, we can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. Can't do that. All the tasks are done. I think we're done here then. What else do we have? This is... 
So seismic survey, I don't know where that one is. I guess I don't know where any of them are. All right, let's go back. Back to the headquarters here. I think a few of them were in Slip Rock Swamp, so let's try Slip Rock. We're just going to probably go there real quick and see if we can... Uh, um, what am I trying to say? See if we can use... See if we can find anything to do. My phone uh, thought I was talking to it when I said see if we... I said it too fast, kind of sounded like someone's name. Oh, actually, this one has a seismic vibrator on it. Let's do that. Again, we'll just equip a bunch of this crap. Actually, let's take one of them off. Just to leave a space again. This part is kind of annoying. Like I said, it'd be nice if you had presets. Crap, gotta sell one again. Okay, so that's got light beacons. That one's got something. I don't remember exactly. That one's got the rangefinder, okay. And then... Which one did we just put on that one? I already forgot. So the animal, light beacons, rangefinder. Animal, light beacon, rangefinder. So we need camcorders. Okay, portable rig. Yeah, we got all three of them. All right. Let's equip our normal three, see if this works. Then if not, we'll go with the other three. There we go. Yeah, I saw uh, two of the long log missions in Wisconsin were pretty tough. Um, here was a nightmare. Yeah, I saw that there is a lot of logging in the last map. Yeah, actually, uh, Amir has the most logging in the game. Or at least it used to. Okay, Mountain Labyrinth needs a seismic. Okay, that's good to know. And the other ones are... Well, I guess I don't know which... Where... Actually, that one's telling us Mountain Labyrinth. What's this one? Dormant Volcano, Mountain Labyrinth, and Unshakable. So we got one of each. Everywhere but where we are. See, that's where it's kind of annoying. All right, let's go to, what was this one? Mountain Labyrinth. Lost some money there. Uh, yeah. Um, here. A lot of logging in the trailer park. I don't even think we need these anymore. The uh, other random stuff we're equipping, but... Just doing it to hopefully make it easier. What was the other one we were using? The... Here we go. Bandit. I think we just need the seismic, but whatever. Yeah, why not? All right. Sorry, this is kind of taking a while, guys. That's what I said. It would be kind of a, kind of nice if they uh, had this where you couldn't. Okay, looks like we got one to do way up there. Camera trap way out there. Well, looks like we got a couple of different things to deploy around there, so. 
Logging in Yukon is awful. You think Nathan said NC has more? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, that was up to Season 8. That was uh, base game all the way up to Season 8. Season 9 did not come out at the time when I did the math. Uh, or did the video, I should say. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if NC had more. Season 10 and 11 and even 9 didn't have much logging. They all had a little bit. But yeah, Season 12... Um, that had a good amount of logging, so I wouldn't be surprised if that one did. Alright, let's see, what do we got? Can't do it, can't do it. Seismic. And then can't do it, alright. Seismic it is. Install a portable rig, where's the portable rig going? I don't see any spot for a portable rig. Well, we have to go 100 meters away, though. That's not bad. 107. We're already down to under 100. Hey, Gigi, what is the oldest person watching your stream? Because you are 62. I'm not sure. I have quite a few people who are into the 60s. Um, I think 67? 69? I can't remember. I have a couple into the 60s that I know. South Fang says he turns 46 this month. Well, uh, early happy birthday, South Fang. Okay, we're at 50 meters. 50, 49. I think I gotta go into the swamp over here. I bet you I was supposed to go like up and around into that swamp. Cause it's like right here, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's 60 meters away. I don't actually know the oldest, but I know there's quite a few into the 60s. I know 65, 67 I think, 69 I think there's a couple of them. I think someone is 68 as well. So I think we have like 62, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, I think, something like that for ages. Yeah, you're welcome, South Thing. Alright, we're a hundred meters away. Should start closing in now, right? Weezen Geezer was 61, okay. Yeah, I kind of forget the ages, but yeah, we might have 61, 2, 5, 7, 8, 9, I think. Oh, that was a pretty close guess, wasn't it? 18, 15. There we go, seismic. Now uh, we got 55, 45, 59 in May. Now uh, that's from Lessons is 45, uh, Gawain 55, and Snake 59. Blaine 19. Blaine, I believe you're the youngest one in here today. Uh, Brace and Pearl are two of the younger ones, but I think they're not here right now. I know Pearl was here earlier. I think Bryce was as well. But I think those are the two youngest ones. Most people are around I think it was 20... 24 to... No, 20... I think it may be 26 to 45 is the age range that's the biggest. Um, 24... 25 to 34, I think, and then like 35 to 55, something like that. Or 35 to 45, sorry. Soren is also 45. It's kind of fun, we got everyone saying how old they are now. So just in this stream, we got 19 to 62. You might be the oldest one here currently. 
Livonia's 33. If anyone's wondering, I suppose I'm 34, so... Actually, wait, no. I'm 33. I turned 34 later on this year. Kinda lose track once you get to a certain age, don't you? You think YouTube will show my demographic? Yeah, it does. Uh, the, the two biggest age ranges are like 20... I, want, I think it's 24? I don't remember where it starts. Actually, I think it might be like 18 to 29. I, it's been a while since I looked at it, but... 18 to 29 is like the, the biggest uh, demographic of my viewers, and then like 29 to 39. Because it's like 10, 10 years after 18, I think. So Jaren's 26. It looks like it might be up there, actually, where we gotta go. Conduct a site. Actually, we gotta install a... That's probably where we gotta install the portable rig, isn't it? Yeah, it's showing that. I quit having birthday... or birthdays... and now anniversaries of my 30th. 30, you're like, yeah, I'm done with birthdays. Yeah, you kinda lose track, honestly. Okay, we're getting further away. Let's turn to the right. I think it's up here somewhere. Still getting further, I think. 40... We're, st we're barely getting closer to it, so I think it's much further to the right. We'll try. This thing is an absolute hog on fuel, though. We do have the top engine in it, which probably doesn't help, but... Okay, 450, 447, yeah, now we're, doing, now we're going down pretty good here. I don't think it's out that way. I'm pretty sure that's where we got to install the portable rig. I think it might be like straight up in front of us up there. Still going down. 331, 28, 24. I just noticed I also have an off-road gearbox in this thing, which also doesn't help with the uh, fuel use. Closing in on 250. I thought it was going to be about here, but I'm, I guess I'm still 250 meters away, so... Again, numbers still going down, so we're going in the right direction. 150. There we go. Now it's starting to beep. Although now it's actually going up. Must be up to our side up here, to the left, I think. Yeah, now it's going down again. So it's about 150 meters up this hill. Oh gosh, pushing everything. All the wrong buttons. Okay, 117. Eighty-three. 
We're at 60, 50. Get closer. There we go. Okay, now we gotta install a portable rig out there. Which truck do we put the portable rigs in? No, no. Of course the last one, okay. This should be pretty quick. Again, just figuring out what people we need and which maps the last three are on is going to be kind of the annoying part, which I kind of stated earlier. If they made it clear which people you got to select to do them, that would help, you know. I'm still happy with the progress we made today, though. Did get a good amount of stuff done. Nice, we skipped over that whole big bump there. Is there anybody here who just plays Expeditions? They don't play SnowRunner? I think most people play both. Or, uh, quite, you know, a good part of my audience is from SnowRunner, so there might be a qu quite a few people who just play SnowRunner and not this. But is there anybody in here who just plays this and not SnowRunner? I probably should have found a better route up there, but... <laughs> Alright. Not a big fan of those seismic missions, especially on Arizona. Yeah, I think... One of the kind of annoying things about this game is actually they... As far as I can tell, most of the m last missions in each area are seismic missions, which are like everyone's most hated mission. So you're ready to finish off an area, and then they make you do one more thing you do not want to do. <laughs> Another seismic mission. So, that was kind of a annoying way to end off the missions, you know. Let's see, both SnowRunner, SnowRunner more, okay. Uh, started on spin tires, nice. So you're here far, far before I was. And SnowRunner just for selfing. There we go, 13,700 for that one. So yeah, we can't track this unshakable island. Slip rock swamps, I thought we already figured out there was nothing left to do on there. Why is this one? It looks like this one is here, just different people. All right, well this one Unshakable Island. We'll, uh, we'll jump there, I guess, and try and do that one. Actually, no, let's let's come right back to here. Let's try and do this one again. What is it? Ancient Tales. It looks like there's something here. 
So let's try and switch the people and do ancient tales. Again, this is what's annoying. It's Kevin to go back and switch people. Um, so, Mountain Labyrinth. Let's do the random people that I don't use. Oops. I think I need... Actually, screw it. I'll just put, it, put in a couple of each. There. What is the other smaller trucks? Again, we're doing all the small trucks just to make it easier. Uh, they have the autonomous winch. And they can have the uh, truck bed so you can deliver supplies plus the stuff inside the truck, so... Very nice trucks to have. I'll just go with the Kako Canyon truck here. Do the warthog over here, and maybe the Acteon as well. All right, hopefully this works. I don't know, maybe we don't have the right people, but let's try Ancient Tales. Can't track. Okay, so Dormant Volcano it's allowing us to do. Can't track Seeker Ingredients either. So the one that we want, what is it called again? Ancient Tales. Uh, Blaine started Mudrunner. Uh, both Snowrunner for a long time, then Expeditions for a Change of Pace. I'm kind of with you, Zeb. Spin Tires and BeamNG are not or were not originally going to be games, but tech demos. That's funny. Hmm. Well, I might have to look at, look look into how to get this uh, this one to go. Maybe we'll just jump to Arizona. We got a lot of work to do over there. I think we mostly did Grand Canyon and we mostly did Coconino. We gotta do Waweep and Sonoran. So let's jump here. Into Sonoran. Take that off. Go with the AFIM. Same thing as before. This is what, like I said, why it'd be so nice to have a preset, guys. Click on your preset. Some need a metal detector also? Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe that was it. I'll have to try that again later. Thank you for reminding me, Livonia. Because I have like roof racks in all of my trucks. Actually, we'll get rid of one just to keep a space. Wait, which one did we already use? We used... We use this, this, and this. We need to use that one. All right, let's try the different people because I think mostly on this we use the same people over and over. So let's do the ones we don't use. Let's 
Oh, we still have an upgrade out here we didn't get. Nice. It's always a nice, nice little find. Maybe let's put uh, one here. And the Warthog. There we go. Hello, Lonnie. Yes, that would be great. 90% of the time you use the same three to four cars and equipment. Yeah, I mean, even if you could put a couple of presets... Um, let's switch trucks here. Okay. Can't track that. That's Grand Canyon. Can't track most... Of, okay, this one we can. Let's go do this. Light beacons. Three light beacons. Which truck has our light beacons in it? Wait. Nope. Here we go. Okay, the light beacons are down here, so that actually works out. Go to these three spots. As you can see on here, we got quite a, quite a few other ones to do, like this. That. 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 Bunch of different stuff, so... Well, let's go explore. Well, not really explore, but try and get some stuff done. But yeah, I mean, maybe you could have uh, your calling it a night, South Fang. Thanks for the stream. Good night, all. Thank you, South Fang. As always, appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good rest of your night. And I'll check out your uh, Discord posts after this. And see you soon. Yeah, I think if you if you can even pick like, you know, maybe it doesn't need to be like a full preset. Like maybe, hey, I just want to use these four vehicles, or maybe it could be, uh, I want to have, um, like one, uh, one anchor point and one jack screw in all trucks. You might not pick the, all the trucks, but like even if it was just anchor points and jack screws, and then you had to pick your four trucks, like if they had some customization, it would help. But definitely being able to like completely uh, choose your preset, like totally your four trucks and your uh, equipment, that would be really nice. That would save, save a lot of time. And again, like I said, having, um, knowing exactly what you need for what missions would be a huge help because some of the times you don't know where you're going after that. You don't know what people you need for them. You don't know if you need a seismic vibrator sometimes or a metal detector. So, if they switched all that, that would be very, very nice. Yellow Jello Pavo, how's it going? So we're kind of just, uh... Crawling, crawling our way through here in Expeditions. We got 70% done at the st or before the start of the stream. Now we're probably... 73 or 4 maybe? Got a good amount of stuff done, but there's just so much to do in this game as far as like I mean just the uh, 205 upgrades or whatever it is. It's crazy. Yeah, 205. So we're at 95% in Carpathians. We have one expedition, which is Seems like it's bugged. We got three contracts, which we can't seem to find the stuff we need to do those. Two tasks, and then four upgrades left. So if we do the two tasks, the three contracts, and the one expedition, and maybe we'll just have two upgrades left and we'll have to go find those two, but... Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's go up here. Good host the stream. How's things with you? Um, doing pretty good. Stream's been going pretty good as well. Uh, kind of, when you came in, I was kind of talking about things that they could be a little bit better. Uh, that would help us to progress faster, but... Yeah. Uh, which one's bugged? I don't remember the name of it, but basically it doesn't allow me to scan the fish in the water. I can do the other stuff, but... The fish, for some reason, just don't... No matter... They, they don't show up, I should say. There's no fish there at all. So I can't scan them if there's no fish. Okay, we got a light beacon there. Which one would be easier? 
Probably this one's close. Let's go that one, then that one. Ah, uh, yeah, it's something in Carpathians. I couldn't tell you exactly which one. I think it's... I have to think about it. Un... Is it Unshakable Island, or is it Mountain Labyrinth? I can't remember. I have to see the map, but it's one of those two. And on to the last one. I just like the looks of these maps so much more. Uh, by these maps, I mean this region. The Arizona region. I just love how these look. A lot more than the... Uh, Carpathians. Carpathians look good too. Compared to SnowRunner, they look really nice with the mountains and all that stuff. Really, really, really nice. But I just, I think there's something about the desert. It's calling my name. Let's see, I might cross over here. Looks like the easiest spot to cross, even though it doesn't look easy still. Okay, let's throw out an anchor point. Maybe up there. Perfect. Uh, has anybody in here completed all of Carpathians? All 37 expeditions? Not not the 100% uh, completion or anything, just the... Uh, just the expeditions. Because I know I watched a video on YouTube of a guy who completed the one that I did, so it must work for some people, but... It's, for some reason, for me, it's bugged, so I can't, there's no fish. I can see fish in the water, but when you scan, it just doesn't detect them. So, yeah, I'm just kind of out of luck, I guess. Like, I can see the fish, I'll, I'll click out in front of them, and they'll swim through it. Like, you watch them, but they just, it doesn't, doesn't detect them. Oop. Uh, I am the polar opposite, but then again, I hated when I lived in the desert IRL. That's funny. You're loving living in the green forests and mountains. Well, I don't live in the mountains, but I live in a green forest area. I've never lived in a desert, so maybe that's why I think it's different. Well, you got 100% on expeditions on Xbox for the... Uh, Oh, like I said, just for expeditions, okay. Two axles in the front is great for this region. That's true, I didn't really think about that, but... Having that second axle so you don't quite hit as much. What is this? North Wind. Meteo Stations. What is this one? A rangefinder. Which truck has rangefinders? Can't remember what those look like. This one? Let's recover to here. Outposts. Southwestern. Here we go. Yeah, it looks like it's just on the bottom here. Do you know the name of the mission that I'm talking about, Blaine? I remember... I've shown it a few times. I've probably tried, like... Maybe six times on stream. And it's never detected it. I tried it probably twice, maybe three times off stream.
Fish thing, maybe a PC bug, I'm thinking. That's true. Could be. No, you don't remember the name? Okay. Yeah, I don't remember it either, so I can't... Couldn't say what it is, because I can't remember it. Rare fish. That's a good one. Alright, we gotta keep going down. I'm trying to look at which, which uh, layer I gotta stop on. Looks like it's this one. Yep. Rare fish indeed. You haven't been able to catch any inside our scans. Wait, is that it? Or is that a... Stage. Okay, stage. Not so. Things can't be that easy, right? Oh, rare fish is the name of the thing? I thought you were saying, like, it's hard to detect them. It's like a hard fish to find. I don't think that's the name, but it could be. It just doesn't sound right. There was a pretty big update today for SnowRunner. Yeah, I was trying to think of what they fixed. Uh, I read it yesterday. They fixed some something with the rims and the wheels on the 5600TS. That was a couple of fixes. They fixed something with the CAT 770G. Um, what else did they do? They fixed something with the pike. The the bat when you the custom bed had like something with the back collision box or something that was fixed. Um, Something with the burlac. Oh, I think they added more uh, more winch points to the burlac. I think something like that. New vehicle too. Oh, the the as of Adam, they added that to Xbox today. Was that not there yesterday? Now that you think about it, or now that I think about it, um. They did post on the SnowRunner Discord that the uh, the vehicle is available today, so maybe it took them a day to get it get through all the crap they had to do on consoles. I'm not sure. Payware. What? One thing you hate about expeditions is the controls, though. Yeah. Um, they did do an update where you can change them to sort of like SnowRunner. They're not quite SnowRunner. They're still a little bit different, but they're better. Actually, where are we? Yeah, we're in uncharted territory here. Let's uh, see if we can throw up the drone. Okay, we can see where we gotta go. The Azov Adam for 399, okay. Also, let's just use the binoculars to kind of look around. Oh boy, great start. Wait, I didn't put any. I didn't put any um, jack screws in this thing. I keep. I equipped all the other vehicles. I thought I did this one too. Here, actually, let's just do this. I'm gonna drop it off with the drone. Modules, drone. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Crap. I forgot that's one thing you can't drop off. Well. Let's do this. Um, oh, controls are killing me. Okay, so we're going to try to connect to this. Pull us a little closer. Now that we're closer, we want to try and spin our front end, if this works. 
God, I keep doing the pushing the up to change the view. Or not trying to change the view, but it keeps doing it. Okay, now we're almost sideways, so hopefully if we get a good connection here. Did it again. We can flip ourselves. Crap. Oh no, it's not biting in. There we go. Don't mind our, our windows completely covered in mud. Okay, I need to find the upgrade for the YAR. Yours flies through. Yeah, the YAR, I think our YAR is like two upgrades under uh, fully, like, you know, all the upgrades found. I think we're missing two. We're almost... Like, almost completely there, but, yeah, just missing a little bit. But yeah, the Yar is probably, probably the best scout in this game. Uh, the amount of roof rack space... I mean, not, not even including, uh, sides, just the roof rack alone. You got, uh, what is that, eight? Then you got two on this side, three in the back, one more on this side... Uh, the tires are good. Can have lights on the top. It has five slot, five internal slots, which are really nice. I think we got upgraded tires, upgraded engine, um, rock crawler suspension. If I'm not wrong, a lot of good stuff. I can't roll over though, I don't have... I do not have, um... The jack screws or the anchor points. I thought I equipped them, but I must have been in a hurry to get here and forgot. So that's not good. Hopefully this is the last place we gotta go. Yeah, I've gone down to this volcano quite a few times now, so the route here is actually pretty easy. Which is why, even though that, that vehicle is much closer, uh, this one has jack screws and anchors and an autonomous winch as well. So if we do flip or whatever, this would be an easier way to get there. The Atom for $3.99 US dollars. Nice. You need the tires, suspension, tried to find them today, got frustrated, drove off a cliff. Nice. I think the tires are in the bottom middle of Dormant Volcano, if I'm not wrong. I, am, I probably am wrong. There's 205 upgrades, I'm probably wrong. Um, what was the other one? Tires and suspension. I think the suspension... Actually, is it this map? No, I don't think it is. This, the suspension's on the top left corner of one of the maps. I think it's Wawi Bay? Wait, what are we in right now? Sonoran Desert. Yeah, I think it's Wawi Bay. I know for sure it's not Coconino or Grand Canyon, so it must be Wawi. But it's in a kind of hard spot to get to. It's like up on a cliffside, but then like you have to go down a little bit from the top. Do you think that they will add the F750 to Expeditions? I don't think so. They said there's going to be two new vehicles in the next update. I forget the name. I think one of them is another AFIM truck, if I'm not wrong. One is an AFIM truck and the other one... I 
don't remember what it what what they said. It was on the um It was on the uh PTS chat on SnowRunner Discord. If you guys are interested in checking that out. Uh Esarokin said that one of them or he he said there's going to be two trucks. And I think somebody asked if it's going to be this specific truck and he said yes to it. And then they said, okay, so it's going to be this one and this one. And then he didn't reply after that, but... Um, yeah, let's go to the right here. But yeah, we know we know it's got two trucks and we know one of them. Although I don't know what that truck looks like. I didn't Google or anything. I just saw it before I started the stream up here today. Alright. Now we're uh, almost there. Or to the volcano, anyways. Or wait, is this a volcano? I don't know. This part can be kind of hard to climb. Okay, gotta get a water sample here. Good thing I left one spot open. Jeez. Alright, light beacons. Do I have light beacons? Not in that one. Not in that one. I have one light beacon in my truck, actually. Surprisingly, I have one. One out of the two I need, which is fine, I guess. That's gonna be kind of tough to get to, huh? Wait, what am I doing over here? I don't know, I switched trucks on accident. All right, let's drone in the other one. God, I keep doing the wrong buttons. So modules, cargo drone. Let's go to light beacon. Oh, shoot. There we go. I have to run. Glad I stumbled on this channel, or upon this channel. Well, thank you, Garwin. Or, what did I say, Garwin? Gawin. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. I'm pretty famously bad, or infamously bad at saying people's names, so... Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. You can try to correct me. It's kind of hard to get the pronunciation over text, but... Um, thanks for stopping by. Please have a good rest of your day or night, wherever you are in the world. And hopefully see you again soon. Alright, let's we'll try and go straight up this thing. I might even just go down the other side and go back around. Depending on how, uh, how it looks. I thought this would be a lot harder to reach, to be honest, though, so... That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, going down looks pretty easy, so... Hmm. 
Man, if you guys don't have the cargo drone on this game, that is probably a must on like almost every map. That makes things go so much faster. Oh wow, we found a dinosaur skull. I've never seen one of those before. That's pretty cool. I wonder what that's worth. All right. I'm not going to pick it up because I, like I said, I have like 1.5 million dollars. We're not really trying to make money. We're just trying to complete this thing. So now at least if we flip, we have some more uh, jack screws. Oh boy, those rocks are really holding us up. You said the suspension on... Um, suspension for the Yars on Waweep. I think it's in the top left corner if I remember. The tires are on Sonoran, okay. Oh wait, no. I was thinking of the off-road gearbox. You're right. So the off-road gearbox, I'm pretty sure that one is on Dormant Volcano. I think I got mixed up. For some reason, I, I remember, because somebody asked me if I had that uh, off-road gearbox for the R, and I was like, yeah. It was on... Uh, and I remember them asking, do you have this, you know, this location for the gearbox? And I was like, yeah, I've got that one. Um, and it was for the Yar. Oh boy. And for them it wasn't working, that's why they had asked. But yeah, I think you're right. Thanks for that, Zeb. Oh boy, another checkpoint. Deliver the water sample. Where's the water sample headed to? Not there. Deliver the water sample to an outpost. Deep scan, okay. Oh, here, this outpost. Got it. Let's recover. Oops, trade. Store, not the store. Crap. Deliver supplies. There we go. Water sample, 11,700. Deep scan is done. We'll probably pick up and do one more here. Okay, that's Grand Canyon. We already did that, or kept checking that one. Find a secret place. That's not too far from this. Let's do that one quick. Hopefully it's quick anyways. The suspension is close to North Outpost. Wow. Landed that somehow. I was just trying to take a quicker way down. Okay. Jack screw that. Oh my god. Massive damage. Oh wait, there's a way down right there. And we found a new climb because of it. Probably another new one, yep.
Oh, come on. Even that little bit of deflation? Oh, there we go. I'm assuming this one's going to say, once we get here, you need to go all the way to this place to go find the secret place. You know, it'll send us off on a random spot, so we'll see. Not too far away, actually. Actually, here, let's pop in the binoculars again. Get some more of the map explored. It will probably be even worse when Saber is sold. They probably make us pay even more. You think so? I'm not sure, but I think I think they already were sold. Maybe it's still in the in, in the process, but I thought it was already done. Here we go. Oh my gosh, the tree's like stuck on us. Here we go. We are out. Photo of the waterfall. And that's the stage. We gotta install light beacons and camera traps. I think we have one light beacon, so actually we only have to get a camera trap if I'm not wrong. Ah, oh, that's the camera trap one. Okay, let's go. Modules, drone, camera trap. We'll just add light beacons just to be safe. Okay, another stage down. Well, not, not stage, but... But yeah, I think this is another good example of the missions that are sort of deceiving. On Snowrunner you can click on it and see all the spots you're supposed to go, right? On here it was like, oh, just go to this one spot. And then you go to that one spot and it's like, oh, actually, go take a picture of this waterfall. Once you take a picture, oh, actually, you need a light beacon and a camera trap. So it's kind of like, just, you might think it's a quick one and then it just keeps going and going. Most of them aren't that long, but it would be nice if it just showed you exactly where you gotta go. You know, you click on it and it's like, oh, first go here, then go take a picture. I mean, some of them obviously they don't want to tell you exactly where to go, like the uh, seismic ones, but... Alright, got a high mount snorkel. That was a quick one. Let's see if we got anything else easy. Scan oh, it's first ritual site. Yeah. That's why we bay. That's also why we. That's Coconino. Coconino. More Coconino. A bunch of Coconino. Oh, and that's it. 
So it looks like we have only one thing left here. I don't remember which one it was now. Wait, actually, do we have... We do have a couple of tasks. That's Grand Canyon. Crap. That one's Waweep. This one is Waweep. And that one's Grand Canyon. All right, well, let's check. What are we at? 80% and 95. So we're missing 16 upgrades and four. We got two tasks and three contracts in one expedition left in Carpathians, along with what is that? 19 contracts, six tasks, and 16 upgrades to be found. So, I mean, we're getting pretty close to the end here, guys. Maybe a couple more streams, but uh, yeah, 80, 80 and 95 percent. If we quit out here. We'll go back to the uh, main menu and load in. We'll see what it says. You would think it would be somewhere between 85 and 90, right? 76%. So we're still 24, 20, yeah, 24% left. But, all right. Hello, Artem. Welcome to the stream. We are just ending it. Yeah, you're late. We're just getting done. So... Sorry, you're a little bit late. I know you like to rewatch them because you usually are busy at the time, so. Yeah, if anybody has any questions, let me know in the comments. Or, uh, you know, whatever you want to, anything you got to say, just put it in the comments of a video. I'll reply to it when I get some time, so. Just want to say thanks, everybody, for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream. Maybe you found some useful information. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you all again later.